Every single one of us makes some impact on the planet every single day. And we can choose what sort of impact we make. My name is Nikolai, and I'm a video producer here at Mashable. I wanted to do a video series that looks at how we can create a more sustainable and more equitable future. I'm Jane Goodall, and I think I'm best known because way back in 1960, I went to study wild chimpanzees, which nobody had done before. And that started me traveling around the world, giving talks and lectures and learning more about the harm that we're inflicting on the planet. And that's what I was doing until this pandemic. Since when I've been sitting here, gazing at my laptop and more exhausted than I've ever been before. I really think we're close to a tipping point. If we take action now, we have time to make change. If we continue to exploit the planet, if we continue to believe there can be unlimited economic development on a planet with finite resources and a growing number of, of the population with unsustainable development on one hand and poverty on the other, then it will be too late. So we've got to take action now. There has been no shortage of dramatic weather events around the world. across the world. Rising sea level. 25 days of rain. of smoke were visible on satellite images last month. I want the media to take on a responsibility here. And yes, we need to know the doom and gloom, but there are incredible stories from around the world of regeneration of places we've destroyed, animals rescued from the brink of extinction. You know, there's so much good out there, I swear that there, if you were to go through every single person on the planet, which we can't because there's too many of us, but you'd find more people who are basically decent and good than people who are bad. And a lot of the things that we see harming the planet are absolutely due to ignorance because the young generation are being taught the things that we weren't taught. They're learning about how our actions are harming the environment. They're learning about deforestation. They're certainly learning about climate change and loss of biodiversity. And I can't tell you how many older people have come up and said, well, I'd given up. But after hearing you speak or reading your book, I promise you I'll do my bit. For me, it's weird. <laughs> I, find, I find what's happened to me to be extraordinary and I cannot explain it. I seem able to get through to people and give them the hope to carry on and do their bit. And that's what we need. If you ask me to think about the future, it's a world where you don't have people acquiring all this stuff and being so fixated on getting wealth and power. It's a world where we have left behind fossil fuels. It's a world where what you buy takes account of the true cost. That means decent wages. It means how much has it harmed the environment? How much has it actually cost to make this thing? And it's a world where you don't any longer have terrible poverty. And it's a world where people are much, much, much happier. You know, if you go through a little village in Africa, they don't have much. They live in a, not even always a concrete hut. It may be, a, may be still a mud building with a thatched roof. Right now they're sitting around their little fire. They're laughing. The children are playing around. There's probably the odd stray dog or cat, chickens pecking around out there. We don't have intensive farms anymore, intensive factory farms. We've given up these monocultures, which are so destructive, not only of the biodiversity, but also the soil we're killing. Uh, it's a world where we don't pollute rivers with plastic, that we just clean up the oceans, where the trees are coming back. That's the kind of world. This is my job, that's what I'm here for. I know that now. My job is to try and give people hope so they don't give up and they take action with the main message that 
Every single one of us makes some impact on the planet every single day. And we can choose what sort of impact we make. Every major religion, everyone, all around the world has the same golden rule. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If we obeyed that and we include animals in the equation, wouldn't that be a wonderful world?